Following the Yayoi period of Japan, when farming and metalwork techniques were introduced from mainland Asia, was the Kofun period, 300 CE to 538 CE, where the religion of Shinto emerges from the beliefs of previous eras, and the Yamato clan rises to power and eventually becomes the imperial family. The period is named after the style of burial mounds used during this time. The period is marked by the use of burial mounds erected for the elite, varying in size and shape from round or square mounds several meters long, to keyhole-shaped ones a few hundred meters long. Early tombs were simple. They only had the coffin buried in the summit of the mound or inside a stone chamber. But later in the period, burial goods were also placed in the tomb, such as weapons, trinkets, or other personal items depending on status. The most powerful people had vast amounts, thousands of pieces buried with them inside separate mounds made exclusively for that purpose. Some of the early burial mounds were made from natural hills, but by the 400s CE, more and more mounds were made by building a mound on flat ground and featured moats. In the late Kofun period, burial mounds became smaller and more widely used by people of lower status, with groups of 15 meter mounds forming cemeteries. The earliest Kofun were found in central Honshu, around the modern-day prefectures of Kyoto, Nara, and Osaka. Cemeteries dated from the early years of the 4th century CE, but they would later spread to Kyushu in the south and to the north and east areas of Honshu in the second half of the 4th century CE. Barrow mounds show distinct features based on both status and region. One of the most impressive developments in Kofun period pottery was the appearance of Hanawa, funeral sculptures which depicted decorated horses, fully armed warriors, well-dressed nobles, farmers, and dancers. These sculptures were placed inside burial mounds and tombs as offerings. Pottery items intended for everyday use were produced in the Suki style, which is a huge improvement compared to the previous styles used in the Yayoi and Jaman periods as they were made of blue-green clay, formed on a potter's wheel, and fired in a kiln at temperatures of around 1,000 to 1,200 degrees Celsius the same temperature at which modern pottery is fired. The technology used during this period, for the most part, is the same technology used in the preceding period, although it is in this period that the technology becomes more refined. Rice paddies began to be constructed at higher elevations, irrigation systems became more complex, and ironworking became widespread and intricate. Iron eventually replaced bronze as the metal of choice for tools and weapons, as the tin needed for bronze was already hard to come by and was by that period even more scarce, whereas iron was plentiful and would become the much stronger steel in later times. Although Shinto emerged during this period, its development is rooted in the previous eras such as the Yayoi, when the worship of gods was first practiced. The word Shinto translates to the way of the gods, and it focuses on diligent ritual performance to maintain a proper lifestyle, as well as to connect to the gods, or the kami, as they are called in Japanese. The kami are gods who embody the natural powers such as seas, sun, wind, storms, moon, as well as things like war and the underworld. Although most kami were associated with nature, some were people, living or dead, sometimes even objects, if they were had the proper qualities, such as emperors, warriors, or other great people. At first, no special buildings like temples or shrines were needed to worship the kami, and any prayers or worship would be done out in the open or by sacred locations like forests by anyone. It was later that kami would be worshipped in palaces and dedicated shrines by clan chiefs or priests. These shrines were usually marked by a tour gate. The kami were not believed to have lived in the temple or shrine or sacred spot that was designated, but to visit these locations and occupy a statue or figure that depicted them. Before the Yamato came to power, clans would conflict with one another over power and would become rivals as well as form alliances, using various tactics to try and achieve their goals, but no one clan or group of clans would achieve the same amount of power. During the 5th century CE, one family or clan would rise to dominance over over the Japanese islands of Honshu and Kyushu. The original seat of power for the clan was the modern-day prefectures of Kyoto, Nara, and Osaka. 
Each of the clans was governed by an elder male who would perform ceremonies to honor and appease the kami and ensure the well-being of the clan and their continued dominance. Clan members were of the aristocracy, who at the end of the period would rise up and become the beginning of the imperial family. It was through alliances with other clans, tribes, confederations, the expanded use of iron, and the capability to marshal their people effectively that the Yamato were an effective military power. Although the Yamato were known to have military supremacy during the period, they tried to avoid war if they could, and instead tried to form alliances with other clans by offering them a place in the political system, or when that failed, resorting to threats and forced the other clans into agreement. The major clans that supported the Yamato were called Uji, and would be ranked or titled according to their level of kinship or service, and this would mark their proximity. Below the Uji were the B group, which were occupational groups consisting of papermakers, scribes, and blacksmiths, among other occupations. Included in the Uji and the B were some immigrants from China and Korea who had skills and wanted professions such as metalworking or papermaking. At the bottom was the slave group, members of which were either prisoners of war or born into that position. It is believed that the Yamato clan of Japan established diplomatic relations with Pakchi in Korea in 366 CE and had an outpost in the south which they governed until they were ousted by the Shila kingdom in 562 CE. According to some Chinese records, in between 413 CE and 478 CE, five Japanese kings sent nine ambassadors with tributes to China in order to gain support in the Korean peninsula. While China would receive tribute through Korea from Japan, Japan itself would receive immigrants from China and Korea who would bring along with them their skills and knowledge, which Japanese treasured since they wanted to keep on improving themselves. By the end of the period, the Yamato had grown in power and become the Imperial House of Japan. Contact with China and Korea increased, and Shinto made its appearance. The transition to the next period, the Ashuka, was marked by the introduction of Buddhism, adoption of Chinese characters as a writing system, as the Japanese natives did not have a writing system of their own, and the adoption of these aspects of Chinese society since they found the Chinese to be civilized, advanced, and wished to be perceived in the same way. Mm-hmm.